Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to the brew shed on another morning after another government announcement, meaning that everybody, including staff in pubs, whilst moving around, have to wear face masks or face shields of some type. So this morning, I've taken delivery of said masks. Yesterday we uh, ordered loads of these. They're not exactly the ones I thought they were, but they should be fine. I thought they had a better strap around the back of them, but no. Never mind, they'll do the job. So we've got all these face shields for our staff so they can face customers without worrying about uh, breaching any regulations. You can also put your name on it there, look. That's quite cool, isn't it? So that's that part of the job sorted for today. Uh, but what we're gonna to continue to do is, well, we're gonna start a new project. So let me zoom out a little bit and we'll go outside onto the, onto the front where I'm gonna show you the facade of the building, which I think looks a little bit tired and is probably ready for an upgrade. I mentioned it the other day. So we're gonna start from the bottom and work up. And that means that we're gonna to have to get the brew shed sign down um, but also I'm removing all of this plywood it's basically just painted plywood that people have uh, well previous tenants have stuck on the front trying to make it look decorative somehow which doesn't really work so the plan is we strip all the plywood from the front of the building all the way along there and then we're gonna put some metro tiles in and these metro tiles are going to come kind of off of this uh, buttress section, if you like. This isn't ours on the side there. It's going to come off this buttress section. And we'll run all the way up here, tiling all this front section. Uh, hey, yeah, as far as we can go. And then we'll run all the way along this section as well until it's all there. Uh, until it's all looking smart, tidy and, well, ten times better than it was before. So we're going to jump in the car, shoot across to DIY.com, or as it's more commonly known, B&Q, and have a look at the tiles. We're thinking black, glossy, metro. So a quick trip to B&Q, and we've managed to farm this out the ground. 19 boxes of black. 300 by 100 metro tiles, 60 kilos of rapid setting adhesive, three bags of white grout, a uh, adhesive trowel, and of course some spacers. We've gone for three mil spacers so you can see the white grout lines in between the black tiles, that's the plan. And then I didn't know what kind of beading to put on so I've gone for this silver looking bead it's quite expensive really at nearly 17 quid a length but I think it sets off really nicely against the black tiles so I'm yet to be proved wrong but we shall see anyway I was hoping to continue ripping off the front facade of the building but unfortunately the heavens have opened and uh, autumn has well and truly arrived on its first day indeed and little Reggie, Reggie, Reggie Roo. <laughs> oh, he's absolute. Look at that face. So, as you can tell, we've come home. We managed to get some of the front of the facade off the building. Um, so, we've made progress, but we got rained off a little bit, haven't we, Reggie? Reggie, Reggie, Reggie. Wiggle bump. He's been christened, by the way, uh, Roly Poly Rat, because he rolls around. He rolls around like a, a rat. There we go. Roly Poly Rat. Roly Poly Rat. Oh, Reg. Hello, mister. Thank you. And here comes Chansey Bum. Chansey, come in. So, we've got... Oh, God, dogs. Um... 
some of the front off the building and we're going to get the rest off tomorrow provided the weather's good enough also the cans should be arriving tomorrow the ones that were sent wrong through a little admin error oh reggie your little nutcase is being really fussy look what did you miss me that bad mate oh my goodness he's going he's going he's gone he's gone holy poly rat so uh yeah hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to see some tiny action or indeed some canning action uh but that's it for now folks another short vlog at least there is one i mean whoa yeah better than nothing and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. See you later, Roly Poly Rat.